First you want to measure the wheel in inches on your bicycle. My wheel measures 28 and a quarter inches. Afterwards, record it on your worksheet. Next, you want to count how many teeth your input gear has on it. And again, record it on your worksheet. Afterwards, you are going to count the teeth on each one of your output gears, recording each one of these on your worksheet. Once you have measured these things, you will make your way out to the street and do what the bicycle industry calls a rollout. Be careful of any traffic. Once here, you will need to make a straight reference mark using some chalk on the street. Notice I am using a 2x4 to make a straight line. You then are going to take your bicycle and shift it into its first gear. Notice how I am holding the bicycle up by its seat and pedaling it with my hand while shifting it. Afterwards, you are going to position the bicycle so that the center of the wheel is in alignment to the chalk line. Using the rear brake now will help you position the bike accurately. Next, rotate the crank arm so that it is parallel to the seat tube. Afterwards, you are going to push the bicycle back slowly one revolution of the crank arm. Again, it should be parallel to the seat tube. Then using your chalk, Mark the center location of the rear wheel. Finally, use a tape measure to measure the distance between your start location and your end location. Record this onto your worksheet. You are going to repeat this process until all of your bicycle's gears are measured. Make sure to record each one of your results on your worksheet. Now that we have all of our data from our rollout, let's go back into our Google Sheets and update our spreadsheet. Make sure you are updating My Bicycles Gear Ratios sheet. You are going to update the wheel diameter first to whatever diameter you measured. After you've done that, now you're going to update how many teeth each cog has on it. Next, you will update how many teeth your chain rings have on it. Make sure to include your labels for your calculations. Any unused rows or columns need to be deleted. So for example, I only have one chain ring on the front of this bicycle. So I'm going to delete all of these columns by highlighting them and hitting delete on the keyboard. Notice that I have additional rows here that have no formulas in them. All you need to do is come back to your original formula and drag them down. Notice my label up here for chain ring teeth needs to be moved over, so I can just drag that over. Once your spreadsheet is set up, now we are going to type in our measured distances that we measured in our rollout.
Now that you've typed in all of your measured distances, notice that your percentage of air will populate. Your air should be less than 5%. Notice that my percentage of air goes from a negative to a positive 